Hello, I am Charlie, and welcome to Dad Drawing with Dad Blakely. Do you have to do it normal? <laughs> I don't know what's normal at this point. All right, let's try. Hi, welcome to Drawing with the Blakeleys. I am Dad. And I am here. We were going to switch it up on you folks, but... Uh... <laughs> I forgot what the intro was that I've said 300 times. I know, I know. Charlie was trying to be normal, and it, it just didn't quite happen. I... Mm. Oh. So Charlie, what are we drawing? I'm drawing with the Blakeleys today. Shadow Leviathan, oh, you yeah, say? Oh yeah, that one I requested like a week ago. Wait, hold Two on. Weeks ago. Thank you to Pleasance and Charlie Blakely? Yes, I did. Are you it. allowed to request videos on our channel? I can. It's our channel. That's true. Yeah, so uh, part of the reason that we're drawing this is that you just beat, I you did. just finished... I played Below Zero and I saw a shadow of mine. So like, hmm, that looks interesting. What if I go beat one of them up? There you go. You just finished this game. He keeps telling me over and over, Dad, I just finished that game. Like, cool. I finished that game like a month ago. I've, and, I've com and I'm completing this, <laughs> the next game. We have not done a Subnautica one in a while. But years. I The new am game ready. released. I think it's like, I think it's a like month eight ago. months. Was it? Oh, I few months ago. I was seeing images for it so long I didn't realize that it was... Anyhow, are you ready? Charlie. Well, I'm going to start off here, and I'm going to start by drawing uh, not the eyes. It has a Dorito head. Yeah, it does. Let's start with the Dorito head. So I'm actually going to start with the tip of its... Dorito. It's almost... To me, I'm kind of getting more of like a hammerhead shark vibe from this head, but... Or like a sting. Nacho ring. cheese Doritos. Charlie obviously has different ideas. I have. So that's that kind of top I punch this thing with my prawn suit. I do have a few different ideas on its threat level. Do you? I mean, it wasn't too much of a problem when I was beating it up with a prawn. Do a little bit of that back fin. Almost there. destroyed my prawn. While I was investigating. You ever wear a prawn suit and eat a prawn while you were wearing the prawn suit? It's a giant mech. I don't think I can do that. You don't. You can't eat food while you're in the prawn suit? You, you, there aren't prawns in the game. The there, fish. There's no shrimp in the, in the game. Yes, but there are giant prawn mechs. Okay. Well, I'm just going to draw a couple of his eyes here. I'm this only going to draw the first two. This guy's threat level looks like a zero. Is it? Look at those eyes. They look like googly eyes. <laughs> well, that's because we I just started to draw them in. <laughs> we haven't gotten to the part that makes them look scary. I know. Admittedly, they look kind of silly. It's when he destroys my prawn <laughs> suit that's scary. So I'm going to start with this first it's kind scary. of insect-like leg here. Leg O. Leg O. Uh... I don't think they have any uh, Swedish style dry, uh, building sets. There. Lego. So I try not to get sued by Lego. No. Why would Lego sue us? We said Lego. We didn't have any money though. Lego is not a children's toy. It's for all ages. Mm hmm. I'm going to draw. And if you think so, then. Uh, then what? Please leave. I like playing with like I like helping your brother build his Lego sets. Yes, I said Legos are are for biggie boys. Well, you say if you don't believe that. Thing, if you don't, if you think Legos are a kid's toy, then please, please leave. that they're only for kids. Then look, at, then just look at someone's Millennium Falcon Lego set that they spent five months creating. I think I'm, the next one I'm going to do is this second leg. I'm the one who's actually seen this in the game and I've somehow made it look. You're doing great, Char. <laughs> look at this. What? If you saw this in the game, you'd be more scared of what the heck is going on than it, than it being scary. Uh, sometimes the greatest shock is the shock of going, what the heck is going on? The last thing you want to hear from your doctor. <laughs> Oh, Charlie, I got a joke for you. Speaking of doctors, I got a joke for oh, you. Oh, no. Is this going to be like the whole man episode? No. Uh, no. Well, maybe. Okay. Mm. So, man walks into the doctor. No, no. You know, he gets this, he gets a bunch of tests, right? Test results come in, and the doctor says, well... You have every disease it, ever. It doesn't look good for you. 
I'm afraid it's terminal. It's going to kill you. And the man says, how, Doctor, how long do I have? And the doctor says, Three. The man says, Three what? And the doctor says, Two. One. You're screwed. I mean, I don't really like that language very much, but yeah, that's basically the idea is that um, he had mere seconds left to live. So, I'm going to continue drawing these legs. And a lot of what we're seeing here is overlapping, so I'm going to keep that in mind. I'm just going to draw some more detail around this leg here. And I am somewhat simplifying this just because I don't want to make an hour-long video. So if you're like, oh, but there, this you part didn't has include some the, the dust. You didn't include the dust specks in his mouth. Or you didn't include the, the my, my sea moth that he ate entirely. You didn't include that in my drawing. Why? Okay. <laughs> so before we go any further down, I am going to add a couple details here. I'm going to add this one more eye that, from our perspective, is being slightly... I'm obscured by the leg. I wanted to draw the leg first, of course. So that's that other eye back there. Um, leg. And then we can start drawing whatever this thing is that looks like a glowing rib cage. It's his know. mouth. That's his mouth? Yes, it is. Oh my word, this thing is a nightmare. <laughs> I had to go beat one of them up in the game. Don't mm -hmm. challenge me. Yeah, well, Listen, they're not that scary when you realize that they do like what five, uh, like twenty damage to your prawn. Yeah, I don't know. As long as you have a repair tool, you should be fine. Uh, but what if I don't have a repair tool? Then, then I'm dead. Then you probably don't want to go near it. So I'm gonna start by making. I I guess I thought these look like ribs. You're saying these are like its teeth? These are its mouth. That's its teeth, and it. In his mouth. It, that it, it is does mouth horrifying. things with it. Charlie, this thing is horrifying. How do you think it ate? You think <laughs> it ate through its head, its forehead, its I, I have no idea. I've just never seen a creature with a mouth on its stomach. It's... Have you seen a freaking shark or a ray? Yeah. They, they don't have mouths on their stomachs as far as I know. noises. Uh, but he still has stomach mouth and he will still use it. Mm -hmm. He does use it. He's got all the things to grab your anything. What if I don't want him to grab my anything? Then just don't go near him. You think it's, you think it's optional? Yeah, as long as you don't go near him and maybe fire a torpedo if you have it. You should be okay. As a as just a guy, I don't know if I have a lot of torpedoes. In Subnautica, you can get torpedoes. Oh, well, I'm not in Subnautica, though. I'm just a dude. You shouldn't encounter this, then. I'm, I'm just a guy in his uh, late 30s. You're 40, man. <laughs> You're Shh. Much. Don't tell them that. You are. You've proven I, to be old. I know. I'm only teasing. So there you go, folks. That's part of the fun of doing these drawings. Is I get to learn stuff too. Like, I, could, I could literally just go back to the game and read the PDA. Well, you could, yes, but why would I want to do that? So you know what you're drawing? Well, I think it's more fun to find out all the rumors and secondhand stuff from you, my dude. keep these legs just kind of get shorter and shorter because who needs legs when you can swim or are they claw i guess i don't know what they are all right i think the next move here is to start drawing they grab onto back. your vehicle that's what they're for 
I guess I'm thinking more of like in a practical sense, what would they be for? Since I assume that the creatures in this game are not, did not evolve to... Destroy vehicles? Look at the Reaper Leviathan. Why, the, the reason it has those things is to grab onto your sea moth prawn suit, other f fish, scrap metal. You don't think scrap metal was in their natural environment. The only other scrap metal they would find is from the Desagi and then the Aurora. Well, but, I mean, our hands aren't, didn't evolve to hold pencils, but we can still hold them. Like, it's not, just because it's not what they're designed for doesn't mean that that's... Ah, oh, some. So I think the row of, yeah, I think the row of those red dots on its back, I'm going to do, well, maybe I'll just do them now. And then I can fill them in with the color later. Yeah. Just a little bit of that pink on the tail. Awesome. Well, Charles. I feel like our shadow leviathans are going good. Oh, don't forget to do the bottom part of the tail. So as you finish up yours, I'm gonna have a few sips of coffee since it's unlike usual, we're doing this in the morning. Usually we do this in the evening or at night, but. Today we're doing it in the morning. What do you think, Chuck? Should we uh, color this dude? Yeah, we should do that. He has, he's just mainly shadow and his blue double de ba do de de mouth. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go. Status rifle, if I had one. Are they even in the game? I I don't know. I've never played Below Zero. I don't think status I rifles did. are I, even in the game. I thought they were called stasis rifles. I don't know. Both is good. I had a I have a status rifle in the original Subnautica. Mm -hmm. I found it in a time capsule and I put it in a time capsule. Weird. My time capsule, and I completed the game and that was yesterday. Or was that a long time ago and you just discovered it yesterday? The what? So that was a joke about time capsule. You know what? Apparently this guy is not the one to make time capsule jokes to. Because he does not get them. Alright. I don't remember them. You know, Charlie, I was going to tell you a joke about time travel, but you didn't like it. How would you? Oh God! <laughs> oh God! Oh goodness! <laughs> I saw that one coming. Charlie's like, do 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 do. Wait a minute! You, how did you see that one? Ah! <laughs> oh my brain! Joke incoming. What? Yes. So. <laughs> you all knew I was gonna play Below Zero, and it's. I I actually loaded up Below Zero in the coloring section, mm -hmm. and I'm making a spy penguin so I can go actually show Dad the Shadow of Athens in the game. Yeah. Or not, both is good. Yeah. I agree. The ice worms are definitely something that you would love to pick a fight with if you had a death wish. I think we might need to do ice worms. Charlie showed me a, uh, the, the cover with the ice worms on it, and I was like, those things are cool looking. You can get a close-up picture if I have a death wish in this game. Or I could just show you the PDA image. The PDA? The Public Displays of Affection? No, it's my tablet. Oh. Okay. Those actually are called PDAs sometimes. Alright. Well, uh, 
I hope that you all enjoyed this. And I I'm hope going that... to go do stuff in the game. Yep. Uh, and so, if you want to see more Subnautica pics, more Subnautica drawings, below zero, or original Subnautica, although we did pretty much no, uh, all the gargantuans, so... All the leviathans. I'm sorry, all the leviathans. We pretty <laughs> much milked it dry. Yeah. I agree. Anyhow. You'll have to draw Kainite. On your screen to see our logo, go ahead and click on that to subscribe. Ring the bell, and you'll be notified each and every time that we put out a video. Smash that. Yeah. Leave those suggestions down below, friends. Yeah. Until next time. Bye, have a good day. Bye.